it is me and I am back. This is going to be my 2017 absolute favorite. I'm going to cover everything from house, um, houseware, not houseware, but home goods to makeup and you know, all the other stuff we love. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's kaboom. And I have an old porcelain tub in my bathroom and I could never get it as white as I wanted it to be and I tried everything. It gets the bathroom and the kitchen together, okay? I am a snack girl. I love to snack, particularly like nuts and cheeses and fruits. That's like, I'm a little squirrel when it comes down to things like that. So these are the Sahel, I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's S-A-H-A-L-E snacks. And this is the pomegranate pistachios glaze mix. And this is just bomb, y'all. Like, um, it has a little zipper pouch. So I keep these at home. And I also keep these in my kit to take with me when I go um, off, you know, on site doing makeup. And I know I'm going to be there for a while. and may not be able to take as many breaks or eat as I like. So these keeps help. These keep me fueled and ready to go. I know this probably sounds strange. My favorite cup is a cup I just received this Christmas. Um, this is one of my favorite cups and it is a Buddha coffee mug. And this was a gift from my son. And I just love it. I just love the detail on it. And I, every morning I get up, drink my coffee or my tea. So um, I just love it. It's just like the cutest thing. And I have another cup which my aunt personalized for me and it has um, a photo of me and my mother on it but it's one of those insulated cups and I love that cup and um, those are my two favorite cups to drink out of for 2017 and beyond but this this was just so so cute and the one my aunt got me is just This e.l.f. bubble mask, hydrating bubble mask, and this is like super dope because it is the, I'm going to say the dupe to the Glam Glow bubble sheet mask. And as you know, these Glam Glow bubble sheet masks are like, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> As you know, these bubble sheet masks by Glam Glow are pretty daggone expensive. I think these were like ten dollars, and I may have caught them on sale for like a dollar or two off. But hydrating bubble mask by Elf does the same thing, and you get more product. Well, I'm gonna get into some hair stuff, and this is it's a ten miracle leave-in product. And when I blow my hair out, um, I don't use it on my um extensions, but well, my natural hair this is a must like i can feel the difference when i do and don't use this product but um it says it's a 10 and it says 10 things at the bottom that it does repairs dry damaged hair detangles controls friends i could say it really does all this stuff um and i think this is like 18 bucks but it is worth it okay especially doing my blowouts oh this is a lifesaver since I already spoke on the um, glam, the um, Elf, we're just gonna continue on with skincare. And y'all, this Nip Fab was like the find of 2017 for me. I am a combo, combo oily girl, especially here and here. Um, so anything that could kind of help combat the oiliness and just it cleanses my skin to. <laughs> I don't, I, it's hard to explain. You ever find, you find a cleanser and you're just like, oh my God, this is what my skin has been needing. This has been like the missing link in my skincare routine. But this is the Nip Fab um, Exfoliating Glycolic Cleansing Fix. I know that probably sounded um, pretty long. But it's a foaming facial cl cleanser with glycolic acid. And I use this with my um, Clarisonic Mio, which I've had since like 2009, 2010. Mine's fairly old. Um, but this cleanser, y'all, if you're a combo oily girl, try this cleanser. Like, try it. Like, it's only seven. This this container is only $7, but it lasts me for 
and that tire about two to three months. So definitely go try the Nip Fab. Okay, next product up has been life changing as well. Ooh, I almost fell out my chair. Um, this is shout out to Hey April, and if you're in the beauty community, especially on Twitter, and have have been there for a while, I used to follow her way back in like 2009, 2010, and I got off Twitter, but when I came back, I made sure to follow her. But go check out Hey April on Twitter. She's also on IG. She's just an awesome woman of color beauty blogger, and she she has like she she April's holding the keys over there. Like seriously, she's holding the freaking keys. Um, I would just hear her talk about Paula's Choice, Paula's Choice, Paula's Choice all the time. What is Paula's Choice? I never know because I've always been afraid of my acids because I tried to do an acid peel like a really long time before I really knew what the hell I was doing and it turned out disastrous. So anything like when somebody say peels or exfoliants, I used to, that it used to intimidate me, but not anymore, honey, not anymore. I found the right exfoliation for my skin and i've been getting to the business but anywho enough about that i'm rambling on now but um this is paula's choice skin perfecting two percent bha liquid and it says what it does creates radiant even skin tone this reduces redness and builds collagen unclogs and diminishes in large pores and baby who i i can't begin to tell you how much this is done for my skincare regimen like y'all like this was life changing for me because and i'm gonna tell you what i've always had those little i think they call it milia milia up under my eyes and i could never get rid of them no matter what i done this has reduced reduced them so much that i forget that i really even had them um my nose i am an oily girl so naturally a lot of um oils you know get there and they get stuck a lot of times this has cleared that problem for me i can't remember last time I got a blackhead or anything <laughs> out of my nose. Um, my skin just my skin just has been better with me adding these two things. I, I I instantly saw results just adding these two items to my skin skincare regimen. Okay, next up is a the ordinary. And if you don't know about the ordinary ordinary, I suggest you get on it. This is the ten percent. Um, Lactic acid is a high strength and lactic acid superficial uh, peeling formula. And I only use this once, maybe twice a week. I find like my skincare regimen has been so life changing. I only got, I only have a couple of like spots of hyperpigmentation that I'm gonna try to correct. But for it's like the soapiness in my skin, the texture, my texture has never really been bad, but I did have texture there. Like it's like my skin's just so much in a better place um now and i kind of slacked off when when i was going through what i went through this year but i'm getting back on track and get my skin back in order and these items have helped but believe believe in truth um true cream aqua balm and it says to increase your hydration level 18 percent and it's dermatologically dermatolog dermat y'all know what i mean test it and based on clinical evaluation of skin hydration level. So they mean they actually done the testing on this. And y'all, I put this on in the morning under eye before I put on my makeup. And it, I, I have, I've always had like um, been dry in this area. I know some pictures is very noticeable. But y'all, this has been literally the bomb, the aqua bomb that I needed. And I will continue to repurchase this and use this for my under eye um, moisturizer, uh, moisturizer. This is, I know it's not on eye cream, but I've been using it up under my eyes in the morning. And it's bomb. It's around my eyes. I have hereditary, you know, discolored dark eyes. But y'all, I have been using this, and this is from a black-owned company out of Atlanta, and this is Delish Condition. I think I'm saying that right. Vitamin um, C Serum, and it's, it says it energizes the eye cream, but I use this, it says to use in the morning, but I've been using it at night, and it really has helped not only the discoloration of under my, um, 
under my eyes but it helps to keep my eyes moisturized at night and my eyes just have been looking so so much better since i've been using these two products in conjunction with each other i use this one in the morning which is the belief and i've been using the vitamin eye serum at night and i probably i know that probably seems backwards but that's what's been working for me All right, on to makeup. Okay, y'all already know what my favorite foundation is. Don't look at my bottle because it is terrible. But this is the um, Fenty Beauty Foundation. Love it. Can't say enough about it. Hold on. Let's see. <coughs> <coughs> Dab on it. <coughs> okay. Um that is my favorite foundation also this is another product by the ordinary this is their serum this one's still in the box i didn't want to show you my other one because it is filthy um i'm gonna need the ordinary to go ahead and get on the ball and it's in it's um expand this color range i'll insert some pads to me it has a bit more coverage you can tell there's a lot of pigment went into these little serum foundations and they're only like six or seven bucks so if you can get your hands on them and try them out oh i almost forgot oh i had another product by delicious condition which i love and it's the glow up um turmeric and pineapple mask and if you know anything about turmeric and pineapples and enzymes and all that good stuff but you see how pretty it leaves your skin just glowing glowing this is the omg glow and these are finishing sprays and they're made by a makeup artist shout out i think her name is joelle what's up joelle i love these but baby if you want that glow to just come from within and it smells so nice um but je definitely check out these as um finishing spray but i do spray this and then i go over it with my cat butt d and listen my skin just i just feel i just feel so grandiose afterwards i just feel so grandiose and excuse me for playing in my hair like these are two week old curls and i they they just been they just been doing their damn thing this hair just really has been doing its own and i love it i had had to curl it or anything it's another favorite for 2017 my bundles honey all right let's get into highlighters since i did the highlight spray let's go ahead and get into highlighters my favorite highlighter is the me money hustler baby from fenty beauty i i've already done a review on this you can go check it out but this is my favorite highlighter out of the collection Next highlighter is the Master Chrome um, Molten Gold. If you don't have this highlighter, um, get your hands on it. It is, it is so finely milled and soft and just glides on the skin. Like this reminds me of another favorite highlighter, which is a high-end highlighter that I have. And this is the Laura Mercier Fall in Love Face Illuminator Collection. And in this was money well spent okay this has been money well spent and that um master chrome color kind of picks up this if i had a pick i would put it right here in the middle if i had all right last highlight would be the artist couture and don't look at mine because it does get used and this is of course the lebron's by the one and only the goddess herself jackie Ina. I can't get enough of this rose gold color um, for eyeshadows, highlight in a tear duct. It just, it's just a beautiful color and it has been going strong. I know she just re-released it, so if you didn't get your hands on it the last time, get your hands on it now. All right, body, 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 honey. We got to serve body. We got to keep this skin moisturized because the winter has not been kind. And I seen someone post on Twitter talking about it was gonna be like six degrees in New York forget that like i want to move to new york and just stay there for like a year but i don't know if i could take the cold but anywho this is the um tree hut 24 hour intense hydrated shea body butter and this is the coconut lime oh it smells so good like and it's empty because i i fell in love with it and used the hell out of it in like no time and this one actually came in my influencer box and 
Tree Hut can be found in Walmart, but it's just ultra moisturizing. It absorbs easily into the skin, and this coconut lime smell, y'all, just <sighs> delightful. Delightful. I bought this in a pinch because I had ran out of my Pampered Pretty Parfait, which is my absolute favorite by the product. It's for the whole family. Get you some, and I'll insert a picture here. Um, of what it looks like and where you can go find it. But I, I purchased this from Walmart. Um, and it's just a nice shea balm. And it actually starts out, you know, I always look at it. When it says shea or coconut, you, you're buying it from the, you know, your local large retailer. I always turn to the back and see if it actually has enough shea butter, shea butter in it to be considered shea butter to me and shea butter is actually the first ingredient in this one and this is like the first one that i picked up in store that shea butter was the first ingredient um my favorite mascara <laughs> here's april making a, an appearance again hey april um i won this she was doing a um tw i think a twitter contest or something she was doing a giveaway and i won the superhero mascara by it cosmetics and this would definitely be a repurpose i just love it like it really is a superhero i don't know what they've got in here but it is bomb this is a bomb mascara everybody's favorite which is the modern renaissance palette this is one of my favorite palettes for 2017 and the other one actually is the fenty beauty galaxy palette and i just that concludes my 2017 favorites video um thank you guys for hanging in there with me and shout out to who somebody's been i recently just went and checked my like um, video thing and you know what tells you how many people been watching your video and like shout out to y'all and thank you and I appreciate y'all try to get a little fancy to get back on camera you know I bought this from the beauty supply store and I thought it was really cute and festive so I picked it up and these <laughs> I know y'all probably like, what she got on her hands these are the um, kiss like press on nail type thing of majigas it's kind of cute just kind of get on camera so y'all won't see my little raggedy nails don't mind my sweatshirt i know it's got like a little bubble back here somewhere this thing is super duper old and I, it's just a sweatshirt that i cut that hang off the shoulder for when i'm in the house and on days like this and i've got on my little um I'm gonna show y'all my slippers. Don't laugh. They probably got dog hair on them because I do have a puppy. Well, her name's Griselda. My little ruby red slippers. So I'm sleeping around the house and all my finest of ruby reds on this day. And um, I just want to say thank you all for watching my video. I'll leave more information about all these products down below and see you next year. Love you guys. Bye.